so anyways, I needed a break from Shades of Earth, because really, I wanted to scream. I just wanted to scream. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. So, I thought I would do the tag I created. Um, I call it the first and last tag. Inside now tag. Day and night tag. What? There's got to be something going on with this opposite tags, because that's... Uh, I guess it's um, a phase. And so anyways, I created this just um, for no reason at all. I just felt like, hey, why don't you just think of doing, about doing the tag? So I did that. And anyways, um, I hope you guys like this tag. I hope you guys will enjoy this. And if you guys ever do this tag, let me know and I'll check it out or put it as a video response. Okay, I'll get started. So F stands for first. First chapter book you ever read. My very first chapter book I ever read was Ink Card by Coralina Funk and I got this at Costco. You can never go wrong with Costco. Costco has great deals on books and I just love that there was pictures in it and I love the cover and so I was like, hey, might as well. It, 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 it looks good. And so I read it and I was like, oh, I love it. Even though the tiny print pretty much drove me crazy, but tiny print was nothing up against a great book. Ah. I inspired. Um, um, were you inspired to do something that was from a book? Okay, so um, I guess this like was um, for uh, like a catch up, because when I turned 11, I got this archery set, and. I haven't been doing archery much because I lost most of the arrows. Okay, sorry, just the uh, height of this was driving me crazy. So anyways, um, I lost most of the arrows and I have been holding off archery since. But after I read The Hunger Games, yes, The Hunger Games, um, uh, kind of got me back into it because I was like, oh, I can become the new Katniss Everdeen. I can become the new Katniss Everdeen. So The Hunger Games pretty much got me back into archery. But it's there's snow outside, and I can't afford to lose any more arrows. So, R for risk taker. What book did you get or receive that you thought you were going to hate but love? Mine is a never, never never letting go. I got this book when I just started getting into the reading habits, and my dad used to go out of town. So I was like, okay, can you give me a few books? And he was like, oh yeah, sure. So he got me this book, and I held it off for some time because I was like, I don't want to read it. It doesn't sound interesting. But I ended up reading it, and I ended up loving it. It's such a good series. As for shelves, doesn't matter how your bookshelf looks or not. Uh, it matters to me because I like to have a pretty bookshelf. I don't know why, I just... You know, um, since it's just right across from me, from my, from my bed, I'm like, um, I'm going to be looking at this sometimes at night, so I want to look at something that's pretty. So, yeah, I like to have my bookshelf pretty. I actually just reorganized it, rearranged it, and I have, like, my favorite covers, um, on display, because I thought that was, like, a good idea, because... I actually have this cover video I want to do because my cousin pointed out something that was very true. T for tried. How many times did you try to read a book? Which one holds record? I actually have two books for that. One that I can't remember how many times I tried to read. Um, but still. Um, that was Eclipse by Cor- by- what was I going to say Coralie Plank? By Stephanie Meyer. And I tried reading this book how many times? Um probably eight times or something and I never got past the fifth page no the fourth page because I read Jacob I read Jacob's note and I was like okay uh okay I I can't continue on I just can't like I said Twilight is just not for me okay um the God series is for me though but Twilight isn't and the second book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabowski um just I made it to the 18th page, okay? I made a dent at least. And uh, I just couldn't really get into it. I just didn't like how he kept saying, I feel sorry for them 
because of this. I feel sorry for you because of this. I just feel sorry. It's okay. We get it. You feel sorry. Now, A for and. A stands for author. I have to have every single book or just the ones I'm interested in. I'm a mixed match. Okay, so, um, Michael Grant writes awesome, awesome books. Ah, oh, I love that. I love Michael Grant. So, yeah, I pretty much have to have every single book. I still have to get Adam and Eve. Huh, I still have to get that book. And it could also be like John Green, where his books are so awesome, I gotta get them. It's not a question. I'm getting them. And then it could be like Kelly Armstrong, where I'm only going to get like the Darkest Hours in the Darkness Rising series. Because I'm only interested in those books. So I'm a mix match. And, and for now or later, when do you read, read a book that you just got ASAP or one that's in fashion? And by in fashion, I mean one that's in, in the Pacific genre of the booktube community. I said that so quickly. Oh my god. I um, mean, I'm... Well, I have to have a feeling for that book. Like, if I want something horrific and so disturbing, I would either go for the Gone series or the Devouring series. Because the Devouring series is so awesome. I need Fear Escape. Uh, um, but if it's like in the gen genre of the book to news, I think I won't go for it. I would just like be like, oh, okay, I don't feel like reading this book. You guys can go on with it. I don't mind. I'm just going to read what I want to read when I want to read it. So, yeah. So, I have to have a feeling for it. D for daydream. Oh my god, I just hit my tripod. Ah! Oh my god. It's alright. Okay. D, daydream about the books you read or are reading. Or are reading. And if you do, do you combine them together and make something so crazy? That was a crazy question. Okay. So, yes, I do daydream about my books a lot since I do finish my assignments early, usually in school. And mostly, um, I have my books in my locker and I just sometimes get lazy and don't want to go get it. <laughs> so, what I'll do is that I'll just think about the book, about the part I'm reading and I'll sometimes twist it around and be like, what if, what if I did that? Would that change anything? Would that happen? So, I'm, I'm complete weirdo when it comes to daydreaming about my books, but... Yes, I daydream about my books because it's just awesome. Now we're in L for last. Lane covers. Which book do you have that has a lane cover? Or a cover that you just don't like? Mine is just set by Kerry Crashgope and Jill Cartman because this book, eh, it was the cover that got me to buy when I was younger. And I was like really into book read, book tubing or like book reading. And... I was like, oh yeah, the cover looks so awesome. But now I'm like, uh, it looks like a TV series. Because you have the main character in the center. And then you have the title, like a BAM cover. And then you have the mean girl who becomes the best friend. And then you have the nice girl who is like the evil person behind it all. And so, yeah, that's that. It was a good contemporary book. I read it so many times. And I got the wolves from Twilight to sign it because I didn't have my Twilight books with me. A for appearance. Appearance. Appearance, yes. Doesn't matter to you what the cover looks like or it doesn't matter. To me, it matters. Well, it used to not matter to me because I was like, okay, you're getting the book. You don't, you're in it for what's inside, not what the cover looks like. But now I am... Um, kind of care about what the cover looks like because you guys know my copy of Across the Universe? Such a pretty elegant cover and the paperback cover was blah to me. I didn't like it at all. I just didn't like it. And so I waited an extra four months, yeah was it four months, to get the hardcover in the mail because I ordered it for a for a Halloween haul, but still. And so, I love this cover more because, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's nothing against the paperback. Paperback, what well, sucks. But the new editions aren't that bad, I got to admit, but still. I like this cover better. As for series, love them or not a big fan? I love series because instead, if you have your standalone, you'll just be like wondering what happened to them. What's going on? I want more. Well, and then in series, you keep continuing on the story, and it's like, next book, next book, next book, next book. And it's just a full-on story, it keeps continuing, it keeps you wanting more, you will never, ever have enough until the series is done. So, I love series because you continue on! It's 
better than having us leaving by ourselves. P for terrible endings. Which ending drove you crazy? Ah, oh, this gets to me every time I think of it. When I started this channel, I was actually going to do my first book review on The Forest of Pants and Teeth by Karen Ryan, even though it would have been like a mostly negative review. Because I only liked the writing style and the Roman numerals, and that was pretty much it. But it was the ending that got me to buy the other two books, because the other two books. I was hoping you gotta tell us what happens in the ending, because the ending is so... I wanted to throw the book, I wanted to rip it, I wanted to, but no, I had to get the other books. Hopefully it will tell me something, but I never did! Because this ending just drove me crazy. Nice cover though. Anyways, that was my first and last tag, and I'm going to be leaving who I tag in the description below, and if you guys have seen us in like this, please do this video and let me know if you do, because I would love to see you guys do this video, and it'll make me, and yeah, it would be awesome. So anyways, questions and everything in the thing below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow, later. <laughs>